Okay, here we are. Here we are now at the um, at the rear of our office, and we have a, in fact, a 200 litre and a 400 litre Arabin in operation. Um, let's just have a look inside and see what's happening inside of this 200 litre bin. You can see that the bin's not quite half full. Um, there's a whole lot of typical food waste that's come from. Um, staff's homes that they've brought into the office for the purpose of our trial. There's some shredded paper, um, some cardboard sleeves, um, general waste that would normally go out with any of your curbside collection at home that it makes great compost at the end of the day. So we'll just have a look now at the cross section of the, the workings of the bin by removing the access door. So th this bin has been in operation since September 2011. It's, it's a very early sample that we obtained from our manufacturing facility of the product. Um, we've been constantly loading material into it. Um, the, the first compost was produced about three weeks after it was initiated, after the trial was initiated, and it's been just progressively converting the biomass materials that we've been uh, loading into it since then into fairly crummy, healthy organic compost. Um, so that, that bin is operating well. You can see that, um, perhaps you can see that there's certainly a, a few worms that have found their way into the bin. These are composting worms as distinct to garden worms. Um, and they've just simply migrated into the bin because of the food source that's present um, from the, the garden bed that's adjacent to where the bin's operating. Over here on the, just before I close off, over here on the 400 litre era bin, you can see that firstly we've, we've raised the the bin itself on a slab of um, echo concrete supports to lift the level of the, the leachate tap um, to a point where the, the draining of the leachate that's been collected in the leachate tank on the underside of the base is then running with the tap in the on position all the time into this uh, collection bottle which is just a water bottle we bought at a delicatessen here in Melbourne and attached with some PVC uh, flexible hose, um, dip that in boiling hot water just to simply soften the PVC and then it, the hose pushed over the nipple of the bottle and pushed over the, the outlet spigot of our, of our leachate tap um, on the base of the bin. Um, so that, it, it's a great way of collecting the leachate because visually you only have to look to see if you've got material laying in your bottle. You don't have to go to the tank, to the tap, to open close to determine whether there's anything that's been collected. If you've got leachate, it's sitting in the bottle. If you haven't got leachate, well, there's none there in the first place. Um, in the case of the 200-litre Arabin, we have, in fact, raised the position of the leachate tap. Um, we would certainly recommend um, that you perhaps adapt the PVC hose and bottle, as we've done in the case of the, of the 400-litre. But the tap is 35 millimetres higher in, in, in relative position to, to ground level than is the case with the 400-litre. So it just makes drainage... Um, perhaps that a little bit easier. We hope that helps you. Thank you.